Hey guys, my name's Attempster. I'm going to be doing a really quick tutorial um, showing you guys how to make muzzle flare. I'm uh, going to get straight on into it. I'll have, I've already made a um, quick FPS sort of setup. Um, so you have a moving character with um, a, well he's not moving right now, but um, he can look around and he can shoot a gun um, that shoots bricks. Um, and uh, I'm going to show you guys how to add muzzle flare to him. So um, we're going to press Shift A and we're going to add a plane. This is going to be called muzzle flash. So um, yes. uh, I'm going to call it muzzle flash or flare or whatever. Um, and we're going to give it a new material. It's going to be shadeless and no back facing and it's going to be transparent. Um, now at this point if you have a we're going to click new under the texture tab image or movie and if you already have a texture um, you can set that to UV and you can open up your texture but I don't so I'm going to open up a, another um, program of Blender and I'm going to make some muzzle flare I'm going to press um, this is using Andrew Price's method so I'm going to press 1 and then control alt 0 um, then press X and delete the cube, shift A, it has UV sphere, RX90 and um, then I'm going to turn that on press tab, select this middle one here and then GY and something's funny there so turn this on while in edit mode and then press GY and make it sort of tear shaped um, yeah shape out of the sphere, so then go along to uh, modifiers, give it a displacement, you can click new, it will displace it for you um, level, you might turn that up, but the level of detail isn't extremely high, so I'm going to click and give it a subdivision surface, now it just sort of looks sort of smooth and horrible, so you click up on this and I'll move it to the top and that will sort of give it um, a lot more detail you can click 2 for even more but um, that might be a little bit too much might lag out your computer, I'm going to leave it at 1 um, click smooth and press 0 and then we can press shift F and scroll inwards and somehow that's fine you can press RY maybe rotate it a bit then give it a new material of volume turn that down just a little bit um, you can turn the density up if you want turn the emission to something like 3 and um, change the color to a, I think something like this was fine some sort of orangey yellow colors um, and press F12 and I just managed to hit the jackpot and get it all perfect you probably won't um, I'm surprised I did, um, but just yeah, muck around until you're happy with those colors. Still not done though, we need to change that to 0.07 and open up a new window here, change it to node editor, click use nodes and drag that over there, press shift A and add blur, fast Gaussian, oh, and change it to 3 and 3, that will get rid of all the dots and press F12 again and you have a nicer looking muzzle flash um, so I'm happy with that I yep, I could also, I think I might try it out give it a bit more sort of displacement yeah, but I think that should be fine um, go along to render settings, set that to 100% RGBA, full compression, um, under shading, click transparent, and end frame 1. And then I think we should be good to go. Um, oh, yeah, select the output destination. So I'm going to do it in tutorials, call it muzzle, my flare, um, or flash, or whatever you want to call it. Save it in your games folder and then click render animation after this is on one and it'll render that out for us 
and it won't look too great, but that's because it's behind alpha. Um, then we can minimize that, go back into our um, original game, and we can open up the muzzle flare. So I've already conveniently, conveniently got this open, so I can just click muzzle flare and open image, and click U alpha down here, and then tab U unwrap, open that up. Um, select UV image editor, muzzle flare, and then SX, and sort of SY as well, give it a good looking muzzle flare texture. Um, I might turn the alpha up to 2, just to give, make it a bit brighter. Um, but I like the look of that. If you wanted to, I think 1.1 on the colour might. I oh, know you don't want to turn it too high because that just looks ridiculous, but um, I'm just going to leave it at 1. I think that's good. Um, then we're going to go and move it along over here. So you got shadeless and no back facing, and that should work fine. So you're in um, GLSL mode and textured if none of this is popping up for you. Um, so make sure you're in that. Um, then press R X ninety, then G Y, G Y, then G Z, and just use these arrows to move it along. And you want to get it between your bullet spawn and between your gun. Um, so something like that. And press S to make it a bit smaller. Press zero to go into camera view and maybe S a little bit more to be got sort of a good shape. Um, now, we still need to parent it. Um, so select this, um, hold down shift, and right click the gun, and then press control P, and parent to object. Make sure you press control A on the gun, and apply scale. Um, yeah, to stop anything sort of weird happening. Um, so now we have the muzzle flare on there, might move it along a bit, something like that. Um, and, um, yeah, I'm going to add an, I'm going to hold down shift and select the gun as well as the muzzle flash, and under muzzle flash I'm going to add two actuators, one visibility and another visibility. First ones, we're going to leave that checked, the second one we're going to turn it off, and we're going to select this AND controller and I might make this bigger um, from your sort of shooting left click to shoot um, drag that down and join that in to these two um, not the bottom one though we're going to add a NAND controller so you have mouse left button and then it's visible but when it's not being pressed, so a NAND controller, then it's going to be invisible. And we, I think, we'll try tap, see how that works. Press P. And we have a, well, we have a muzzle flare popping up, which is cool. Um, but if you say wanted to sort of have something that isn't semi-automatic and wanted to have a fully automatic gun, um, you could I'll go back into the logic editor and say you wanted to set this to true um, and turn off tap because this is now a fully automatic and you wanted it to do that. I'll just um, Yep, you wanted it to sort of fire automatically like that, um, and didn't want sort of muzzle flare just staying there like that, then you would, um, then you'd obviously want sort of varying muzzle flare. So what we're going to do is we're going to animate the um, muzzle flare itself. So go to frame zero, and then select I, and insert rotation, and go to frame, I think we only need up to 30, and then you can press RY, and spin it a few times 
and press I, insert rotation, and then you can go to frame 10, and press, and no, go to frame 0, and insert scaling, and then go to frame 10, and make it small, and then press I, insert scaling, frame 20, make it maybe bigger, press I, insert scaling, and then frame 30, make it I don't know, back to normal, I insert scaling. Um, and so now it's yeah constantly spinning and changing. If that isn't random enough for you, you can go in these in between sort of values and then press I insert well press R Y, rotate it a bit more, um, insert rotation and then maybe change the scaling as well and insert the scaling. So it has a bit more of a random look, if that isn't random enough already for you. Um, on top of that, if you really wanted to, you could um, select object color down here, and you could go in here and get into um, animating the alpha, so it sort of fades in and out, but I don't really think um, I'm going to ever need that. It didn't look that great when I tried it. So we're just going to stick to this, these two. Um, then we're going to select the muzzle flash, add an always sensor, and add an action, and an end controller, and join them up. Then select muzzle flash action, and end frame 30. And um, now when we press P, Let's stop playing, so we need to select true on here, and then press P, and you'll have muzzle flash constantly sort of, well, looking nice, but it, we haven't even shot, and it's already there, so we need to go into the physics tab, and select no collision, and invisible, so it starts off invisible, but the game determines when it should be visible, so when we press P, it's not there, and when we click, we have random looking muzzle flash. Um, so yeah, that's how you guys can make, um, fully automatic muzzle flash, um, and you can also do the same with single if you want, but, I guess, if you wanted to, you could animate it as well, but, um, yeah, I just had a quick request to, um, what, how I would do muzzle flash, so, uh, that's how I would do it, um, um, possibly if you really wanted to, you could do the same for a single, um, shot weapon, but, um, yeah, you'd use this technique for, um, a fully automatic gun. So, um, that's the end of this tutorial, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it, learned something from it. Feel free to like and share with anyone you think might find this helpful to use in their games. Um, if you think it looks great, then feel free to leave a like, um... Any sort of support's really appreciated. If you um, found something wrong with this video and think you might need to leave a dislike, then please make sure you tell me why, because, um, yeah, I'd like to know what I'm doing wrong and if I can fix it. But um, either way, that's the end of the tutorial. Hope you guys learned something, and I'll see you guys next time.